Pokemon Go has officially announced two of the really big events for the month of March. And in this video, we're going to go over both of those events and let you guys know my thoughts on them. So the first event we're going to go over is going to be Community Day, which was the first event they announced today. Community Day is going to be Slowpoke and Galarian Slowpoke. So we have two Slowpoke versions on one Community Day. I'm honestly a big fan of these double Community Days. It is honestly a lot more fun in my opinion. And it makes it even better because Galarian Slowpoke has a really good shiny form. Unlike Cantonian Slowpoke. Poke. So community day is going to be March. So community day is going to be on March 8th, 2023 from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. local times. Obviously, you're going to be able to encounter slow poke and Galarian slow poke throughout the entire time. And if you evolve them between 2 and 9 p.m., you will get the charge TM surf, which honestly, I have no idea how much that affects slow bro in the competitive sort of scene, because I have a feeling only going to be useful in PVP, if anything, because it's not going to be a PVE focused Pokemon. But granted, slow bro does have a mega form, so that's going to be super cool. Hopefully you can get a good one and get a good mega. Obviously, community day fashion there's gonna be a one dollar ticket but honestly really worth the one dollar because of all the stuff you get from it honestly it's amazing completely worth the one dollar event bonuses we're gonna get for this community day are gonna be triple catch xp double chance for trainers level 31 and up to receive xl candies from catching love that incense lasts the entire three hours an additional special trade that gives us two per day double candy for catching pokemon we're gonna be rolling in candy let me tell you guys that now learn modules obviously last for three hours snapshots that give you an encounter with the slow and trades will require 50% less stardust. Also, for those who do not know, to evolve Galarian Slowpoke into Galarian Slowbro, you usually have to catch 30 poison types with it as your buddy, but this time, you only have to catch 30 psychic type Pokemon, which is going to be super easy during community day. So make sure you make one your buddy if you're trying to get a slow king, because you got to catch psychic types. There's going to be four star raids from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. of Slowpoke and Galarian Slowpoke to increase the community day around that gym for like the next 30 minutes or so. So if you guys want to do that, by all means, do it. I don't normally do it. I normally get my fun out of the first three hours. Obviously, there's going to be timed research, field research that goes around with it, and new stickers. So in all honesty, I'm a big fan of this community day. Like, I know a lot of people might not be fond of it, but we do get a brand new shiny. But also, it reinforces my idea that the community day classic in April is going to be a mega form Pokemon, maybe like a Ralts or a Beldum or something like that. Hopes to that. And the first major week-long event that we're going to have, it's going to be the Festival of Colors returning to Pokemon Go for 2023. The Festival of Colors will run from Wednesday, March 8th, 2023 at 10 a.m. local time to Tuesday, March 14th, 2023 at 8 p.m. local time. And amazingly, we will get the debut of Mega Metacham, which honestly, super excited about that because I have a hundo of that. So we're going to be raiding it so we can do a Mega Evolution, which we will do that in a future video, obviously. And we will get the debut of probably the most hated Pokemon in Pokemon, Groxish. Apparently, we're going to get a colorful surprise around Pokestops when you walk close to them. I don't know really what that means. We'll find out apparently. Event bonuses, we get lure modules that last for three hours during this entire event, which honestly is amazing. Take a few snapshots every day during this event for a surprise. You get a few snapshots this time, which usually I believe when they do something like this, it's usually five. And you should take advantage of this because Schmeargle can actually be shiny during this event. I somehow have managed to get three of them. Gonna be trying to get more, but this is a super rare shiny that all of you should be taking advantage of because you get five encounters per day and this usually only comes around once a year. So take advantage of it while you can and get that shiny Schmeargle to flex it in those gyms. And also probably my favorite part of this entire event is friendship levels will increase twice as fast. Those who don't know, friendship is the fastest and best way to earn XP in Pokemon Go. So this makes it a whole lot easier. There's going to be a collection challenge for the Festival of Colors coming soon. Complete the collection challenge by the end of the event to earn 20,000 XP, which honestly, that's a lot of XP. And a lure module. Wild encounters that will be happening during this event are going to be Paris, Krabby, Coughing, Net. To Wobbuffet, Shuckle, Wingle, Plant Cloak, Burmy, Sand Cloak, Burmy, Trash Cloak, Burmy, Donkey, and obviously the brand new Pokemon, Bruxish. And if you're lucky, you're going to encounter a Lickitung and a Galarian a Zigzagoon, which all of these Pokemon can spawn shiny in the wild except for Stunky and Bruxish. One star raids, we're going to have Esper, Rockruff, Marini, and Bruxish. Three star raids, you got Executor, a Lowland Executor, Cryagonal, and Drudagon. Five star raids, we are going to have Ho Oh, which I can finally get my shiny one. Expect a video on that one. And Mega Raids, obviously, Mega Meta which 
which can be shiny. And field research task encounters will be a lowland grimer, cast form, sunny form, cast form, rain form, cast form, snowy form, cast form, which apparently can be shiny now. I didn't even know it could be, in all honesty. I didn't think it could. Plant cloak, Burmy, sand cloak, Burmy, trash cloak, Burmy, and all the oracorio forms, which depending on which region you're from is dependent on which one you will encounter. Me, I will get the pom pom style and we'll get some new clothes and a new pose, which honestly, that's a pretty good looking pose. I might get that one. Overall, I think this is a really good looking event. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this one. It's got a few good shiny hunts like shiny shuckle. That's a really good one. So try looking for that one. Same with shiny wabafet. That's a really good looking shiny as well. Overall, pretty good looking event. I'm excited for this one. Let me know what you guys think of this event. And as always, if you did enjoy the video, like, comment, subscribe, all those good things. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.